Hi there, how's it going? Ever had one of those moments where you're doing your illustration and you reach the point where you need to shade the character's face, but you don't have the right reference photo or you don't have a model to work with? That happened to me. So in painting this image for this lesson, I reached a point where I needed to shade the character's face positioned at a certain angle. I didn't have a model to work with and I couldn't find a reference photo that matched anything I was I needed. So I came up with a solution which I want to share with you next in this video. We have the character's head to paint and I want to add some cool looking shadows that will leave a majority of the face in shadow to make those blue eyes of our character pop on the page. But I have two problems to solve. One, I have the face at a really difficult angle and two, I need to capture all the unusual shadows and highlights caused when the face is lit from below at this angle. My solution to both problems is to make a character reference sheet that depicts the face from front and side view. Now yours does not need to be this detailed, all you really need are the basic facial landmarks. With the light coming from below, I know this is going to illuminate the chin, underside of the nose, and the underside of the eye socket below the brow. We also have the complexity of the light coming from the lower left creating a shadow from the nose over one side of the face. Using the side and front views, I can roughly work out where the shadows will fall due to the curves and angles of specific landmarks on the face. I can then take these two rough sketches and transfer them to my three quarter view sketch. Now I can use the sketch to help me paint the shadows on the final illustration. First, lay down your darkest shaded areas. Here I'm just using black acrylic ink. The paint is quite opaque, so I'll thin it down with some water to make it a little less thick. Next, I'm going over the whole face with a base skin tone colour, watering it down to make it more transparent, allowing the black underneath to still show through as a guide. The next layer of colour is a slightly darker skin tone shade that I only use on the darker areas. Then I'll add a really deep colour for those areas that are not getting hit with any light at all. When I get to the darker shadows, I have to keep in mind that they're not going to be just black they're actually going to pick up light that's coming from the surrounding evening sky. Once I feel that there is a basic structure to the shadows, I add in the blue glowing eyes. This will give me a better idea of how dark I should make the surrounding shadows. From here, I continue to play with the depth of the shadows and the intensity of the light, using the shading sketch as a loose guide. Once the shadows are looking good, I can increase the facial forms by adding more detail to the secondary light reflected in the shadows. Adding interesting shadows and lighting to your illustrations breathes life and depth into the story of the piece and gives your characters a sense of realism no matter what your style. And what are your thoughts on shading? Will more dynamic lighting and shadows make your artwork better? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this series of videos demonstrating how to draw a cover illustration. Please give it a like and if you haven't seen the previous videos, check out the playlist for more. I'll see you soon in the next lesson.